Now, good morning and welcome to my series here where I'll be discussing the preparation of molar solution. And in particular here, I'll be looking at the molar solution. I'll be preparing the molar solution of sodium hydroxide. I will start by defining what a molar solution is. Now, a molar solution here, a molar solution is a solution containing one mole of a solute dissolved in one liter solution, in one liter solution, if you like it, in one uh, cubic decimeter solution. In other words, if we are talking about a solution whose concentration is one, uh, one capital M, M refers to molarity, or we are talking about one mole per cubic decimeter. A solution having this concentration here, uh, for example, if I have one mole of sodium hydroxide dissolved in a litre solution, I'll be saying that I have a molar solution of sodium hydroxide. Now, before I discuss the procedure, it's important that I mention here that much as I'm talking about uh, one mole of a solution dissolved in a litre solution, the volume may vary. The volume may vary. I must not prepare a liter solution uh, to come up with a molar solution. I can have uh, 250 ml, actually depending on the volumetric flasks that I have. For instance here, if I'm going to prepare a molar solution using 250 ml volumetric flask, what do I need to do? Now, in my previous series, I've discussed about what basically molarity is. I've said that molarity can be given by the number of moles, the number of moles of solute, I divide by volume, and the volume should be in liters, should be in liters. And therefore, if I'm having to, if I'm preparing a solution uh, with a volumetric mass of 250 ml, how much of moles do I require? Think about that. So my molarity is 1. I'm substituting 1 here is molarity here. And then I'm going to have x moles. Then I divide by the volume in liters. And the 250 cubic centimeters here is equivalent to 0 0.25 liters. To 0 0.25 liters. Of course, it's 250 divided by 1,000. In other words... When I'm preparing 250 meters of this solution here, I can close multiply. If you close multiply this, you get x is equal to 0 0.25 moles. That's what, be, uh, what you're talking about. And therefore, when you'll be preparing, when you're using 250 ml, sorry, when you're using, uh, uh, you're preparing 250 ml of any solution, you're going to have 0 0.25 moles di uh, uh, dissolved in 250 a cubic centimeters a solution that is what we're talking about in other words the concentration here uh, the concentration uh, we can talk about 0 0.25 moles per 250 uh, cubic centimeters or 250 ml if you like it that's what we're talking about now so let us get into the preparation of this and I'm going to have let me take you through the procedure Uh, let me take you through the procedure. So I'm going to have the first procedure here. I'm going to dissolve. I'm going to dissolve the 0 0.25 moles of sodium hydroxide. Now this one here we can convert it to mass. And uh, when you convert it to mass, you just take the moles, the number of moles times the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. Now molar mass of sodium hydroxide here. Now therefore here will be 0 0.25. I'm going to multiply by the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. Now sodium hydroxide here, 
The relative atomic mass of sodium is 23, uh, that of oxygen is 16, so 23 plus 16, that hydrogen has one, that one uh, gets me uh, to 40, that's a molar mass of sodium hydroxide here, and this one is equal to 10 grams. Therefore, we're going to dissolve 0 0.25 moles of sodium hydroxide here, or 10 grams. In, we are going to have a lesser volume than 250. I'll be explaining that one why. Or for example, you can have in 150 uh, cubic centimeters of distilled water. Distilled water there. Distilled water there. Then uh, you're going to add the solution. Uh, transfer. Transfer the solution. Transfer the solution into a 250 ml volumetric flask. Right? That's the thing there. Then, from there, from there, we are going to have, um, you're going to rinse um, the beaker. Assuming that you've dissolved the, the, these moles in the beaker, rinse the beaker, uh, rinse the beaker using distilled water, and add the contents. Add the contents into the volumetric, into the volumetric flask. That's what we're talking about. Into the volumetric flask. Now, um, then once you do that here, uh, then you're going to add water. Add water up to the label mark up to the label mark. That's what we are actually uh, talking about. Now, having said this here now, let us see or let's get uh, into uh, the practice here and we see what we are talking about. Therefore, uh, let me take you through the, the apparatus that we are going to have here. I'm going to have a weighing balance. I'm going to have a weighing balance. Um, I can weigh my sodium hydroxide here in a weighing balance like that. Therefore, I can use a beaker here. I'm also going to have a very important apparatus. This is volumetric flask. Very, very much important. Very much important here because it is used for accurate, accurate measurement of volumes. And in this particular case here, we require very high accuracy here. I'm also going to have distilled water. And I'm also going to have a burette. A B rate, of course, and I have a letter to stand. This one here may not be, uh, it may not necessarily be there, uh, but we are going to use it. So what I'm going to do here, I'll start by dissolving the 10 grams uh, in, of uh, uh, sodium hydroxide in distilled water. Therefore, I'm going to have that. So with my weighing balance here, I'm going to have it there. So I'm going to have... 10 grams of this. And I have exactly 10 grams of this. I'm going to have exactly 10 grams of that. And with the 10 grams here, having measured the 10 grams, I can now have distilled water. I'm going to add now my distilled water. Uh, distilled water here. I can have less amount than 250. Less amount than 250. For example, I can, as I've just seen here, we can mark with, can work with 150 here. And then I will stir. I'm going to stir this. I'm going to stir this with a gas load. But with me here, for example, I have a thermometer. I can do this. So I'm going to start until all dissolves, until all dissolves. Euro. I can 
add some little bit of water here. But not exceeding the 250. I've just said here that we need to be very, very accurate when it comes to the measurement, ensuring that we have exactly the 250 that you're talking about. Right, so once you dissolve this one here, you can transfer another solution into my volumetric flask. I'll do exactly that. <coughs> there you are. And then I'm going to have a litre of this distilled water. I'm going to rinse my beaker. Now, why am I rinsing? I'm rinsing my beaker to ensure that all the sodium hydroxide solution inside here actually is dissolved. I want to ensure that all that remains there gets into my volumetric flask. Now having done that, the other one now here will be now to fill the volumetric flask up to the label mark up to the label mark here my label mark is here and this is where again i need to be very very accurate just to ensure that the volume does not go beyond the expected mark now this is where i can use my b rate this is where i can use my b rate uh, i can use my b rate here just to ensure that I don't go past the mark. So I'm going to do exactly that. So with the beer rate, beer rate is more accurate. And exactly I'm um, there, thus the label mark, I've just gotten the label mark, my meniscus exactly is at the label mark. And what I've just prepared here is a molar solution of sodium hydroxide. This one here will be a molar solution of sodium hydroxide, a molar solution of sodium hydroxide. So basically that's the procedure you can actually use, you can actually prepare using any volume now so basically that's what we're talking about uh, remember just to remember to subscribe to my channel in the next series I'll be looking at the dilution I'll be looking at dilution please don't miss this thank you very much